This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. If you're familiar with collagen and its role in aging, then you probably know that its production decreases 10% in our bodies every decade. Users, including myself, experience a more youthful appearance, decreased wrinkles, and smoother skin within days of taking this amazing multi-collagen. It promotes effective anti-aging through the use of five types of high-quality collagen mixed into one. Try it today for 51% off by going to www healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the link below. Make sure to do it within the next 24 hours and get 51% off. And a battle over the Pledge of Allegiance erupted in Silverton this week. That's as Mayor Shane Furman suspended saying the pledge and that led to a testy exchange with town trustee Molly Barella. Um, and it's removed from agendas and or protocols until, until such time that we can discuss this at a board retreat or workshop. We already discussed this as a board. Any other unilateral decisions we need to know about? Um, if you'd like to find somewhere in the code that does not permit me to do this, then I welcome that discussion at our yes, next Yes, but meeting. it's just been done for a long time. I understand. Because we all took an oath. And we as a board collectively decided it would be done. Uh, this is not up for discussion at this moment, but if you'd like to add it okay. to the next meeting, we can do that. Thank you. You are welcome. Then during the public comment period, an individual said she wanted to recite the pledge. Two board members and a handful of attendees stood and recited it, prompting Fruman to say they were out of order. Hey, hey, welcome back, Patriots. I'm Drone Tech, and today we're going to take a look at what looks like a slow motion Maoist revolution taking part right in front of our eyes. We've seen increasing attacks on American history and monuments, including our most sacred, like Mount Rushmore, and even the American flag itself. We've watched our universities turned into Marxist and indoctrination camps, where kids who loved their country are increasingly coming out ready to overthrow it in favor of communism. Just look at this recent study done showing a growing acceptance of socialism and hatred of capitalism. We've even seen our military, of all things, infiltrated by a Marxist cult that seeks to tear down all of America's institutions. As you all well know, I could go on and on, but the point is that the America that we all know and love is under serious attack from within. That brings us to this Colorado mayor who thinks he can just unilaterally ban the Pledge of Allegiance and everybody's just gonna fall into line. Then during the public comment period, an individual said she wanted to recite the pledge. Two board members and a handful of attendees stood and recited it, prompting Fruman to say they were out of order. Yes, I love it. Just listen to this mayor's reasoning for banning the pledge. The indirect threats, inappropriate comments in and out of public meetings and the general divisiveness issues creating in our community. Uh, we will not be doing the Pledge of Allegiance. Let me get this straight. You think that because of alleged threats and divisiveness, most likely caused by leftist overreach like this, that you can then just unilaterally ban the American Pledge of Allegiance? I've received death threats. Who cares? We don't even know who made these alleged threats. For all we know, the mayor himself could have made them. Hate crime false flags are a favorite tactic of the left, so why wouldn't they be doing it again here? So the attendees ignore the ban and decide to recite the Pledge of Allegiance anyway, and look what happens. I'd like to make one comment. I'd like to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sorry, but that's the United States of America I'd note that that's out of order and uh, we did have a one strike policy. I'm not going to ask everyone to leave tonight, but if something like that happens again, we will. Oh, and tackling and, and other things like that are also out of order. So please don't ask me to make people leave. What the fuck? I'm getting flashbacks to one of my all time favorite movies. Red Dawn really was a documentary. All I know is that it looks increasingly clear that we're being led down a path that looks suspiciously like past communist revolutions. Instead, this time they're using race to divide and conquer instead of class. Real American patriots have a duty to stand up and defend our country. 
Whether that be attending these board meetings, marching, or standing up to the tyranny that is becoming increasingly visible by the day. All I know is, don't ever let them take your guns or your right to free speech. Alright, I hear kids crying upstairs, so time to get back to stay at home dad life. But if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, share, and let me know in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for tomorrow's video.